Okay guys, I have something very special planned just for you. I am going to do an entire week of Harry Potter Christmas decorations! So I'm gonna have a themed tree, I'm going to have decorations, and it's gonna be all for you. I'm going to put up a new video every single day for an entire week. And you guys are gonna love it, cause I know I will. And we're starting this party off with this gorgeous snitch tree topper. So first I have to say, I do not normally make crafts that you have to have a specific type of thing that is not necessarily easy to find. Today is the first time in a long time that I've done that. The reason why is because I was so inspired when I went to the store and I saw this really ornate big ornament. Ornate ornament, that's really interesting. I found this and it just reminded me so much of the designs that are on the Golden Snitch. I love how intricate it is and how it has the pieces in it cut out and I thought that would make the most beautiful Golden Snitch tree topper. I also have these, I think they're supposed to look a little bit like quills, but they're perfect for giant Golden Snitch wings. Each of these was $3, so $3 and $3 and there's tons of extras in here if you wanted to buy a few more of these and make a whole bunch of ornate golden snitches. So you're gonna need two of these for the wings and what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna cut off all of the ones on the top. I want the bottom to stay intact so that it kind of swerves upward like the wing in the movie. These are super easy to cut. Just be slow and steady and make sure that you're not cutting into the big middle part so that it can stay intact. wing and now I'm just gonna pull off this clip off of the bottom very slowly and carefully so now it's time to just take the wings and place them where it looks most like a snitch I think that's kind of more towards the top than perfectly in the middle originally I was thinking oh that's where they go but actually it goes up a little bit more like that so let's hot glue those in. You can tell by looking at this ornament that it actually was fused together in the middle. So that's actually where I'm putting the wings, right in the middle so that the front looks perfect and the back looks perfect and the wings will kind of hide the line that's naturally there. I'm just gonna set it here for a little while until it's cooled off. Okay, now that it's glued, we're gonna take it outside and spray paint the whole thing gold. One thing that I'm really happy about is because the ornament itself has so many bulges on it, even if I get a lot of hot glue and it doesn't quite look perfect, that's great because it just adds a little bit more dimension to the whole thing. You won't even notice. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it looks so good! Okay, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> okay, it's finished, it's been drying outside. I can't believe the difference that it made. Once I started putting on some of the gold spray paint, I started getting so excited because it made like all the difference. Ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> so good! Yes! I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Stay tuned because Monday next week I will have another video all ready for you. Our next video is going to be the Gryffindor scarf ribbon. You guys are gonna love it. And I've got another video coming every day next week. Have a happy Harry Potter Christmas. <laughs> I almost fell off the chair. <laughs>